हेलो एवरीबॉडी होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी सो इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ईच वन ऑफ यू हु इज आइडर लुकिंग इन फॉर अ कॉलेज प्लानिंग टू जॉइन अ कॉलेज और इज प्लानिंग टू जॉइन अ कॉलेज इन अ कपल ऑफ इयर्स फ्रॉम नाउ दिस वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एवरी ईयर व्हेन द एडमिशन साइकिल कम्स एंड पीपल हु फिनिश द क्लास 12 बोर्ड्स आर लुकिंग इन फॉर कॉलेजेस दे ऑलवेज कम टू मी विद दिस वन क्वेश्चन भैया कैन यू टेल मी विच इज द परफेक्ट कॉलेज फॉर मी कैन यू टेल मी विच इज द बेस्ट कॉलेज कैन यू टेल मी विच कॉलेज विल बी द बेस्ट फॉर मी टू जॉइन गाइज टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट द रियालिटी ऑफ द फैक्ट इज दैट देर इज नो परफेक्ट कॉलेज द ट्रूथ इज विच एवर कॉलेज यू पिक आउट इवन द बेस्ट ऑफ द आई आई टीज आई एम यू विल सी अ मिक्स रिव्यू अबाउट येस दीज कॉलेजेस आर वेरी बिग ऑन ब्रांड्स बट वेन यू टॉक अबाउट इंडिविजुअल एक्सपीरियंसिस देर आर फ्यू पीपल हु लव इट देन देर आर फ्यू पीपल हु हेट इट it happens everywhere in each of the colleges that is why there is no one perfect college what is important is for you to understand that given the current scenarios circumstances factors and that you would want to take into consideration which college should be the best for you simple as that trust me guys i mean each year i send so many people to different colleges across the country and a lot of them obviously have a great time but some of them don't like the college college that they've joined also The major reason why I see this huge gap of unsatisfaction that's happening first is because people don't want to adjust with anything they want everything to be top notch and perfect but the reality is it is not always like that at the same time another reason of this huge gap is because people expect something else and the reality turns out to be something else obviously who's to blame i'm not sure but a lot of people blame me they might blame their parents they might blame uh, the admission counselors they might blame some other youtube videos that they watch or whatever the case may be guys i will just make my attempt from my side and i'll be honest with you that there are different angles and different things and different factors that you need to consider before you join a college me your parents i your parents different videos on youtube a uh, current students of a particular college they always just play their little role of sharing with you their experience their knowledge their wisdom or what they feel might be right for you but might not be the correct answer one of the worst things that i've seen i mean at least in my 3 years of my content creation journey is that specifically people in india do not value their own research their cousin will say them this course this college they will go they will say one of the three person on linkedin will say this college this course they will do that they will watch one video they will say ah the campus looks really good let me go for that no guys that's not how it works another very important and the sad part is that india follows a very bad herd mentality eight chart which means five people are doing this thing even i want to do this thing if everybody is going to delhi university even i want to go to delhi university if everybody is going to nmms even i want to go to nmms but the reality is that nmms might not be the best option for you maybe delhi university is not the best option for you maybe christ is not the best option for you that is why it's very important that you have your own list of pros and cons obviously take into consideration about what your parents have to say what mentors like me have to say about the particular college or the university or what other people have to say but then ultimately decision is all yours the best decision will be where the reality is closest to your expectations in order to get the reality closest to your expectation i personally believe that you should be checking up about a university from five different angles There are the five different factors that you should consider before you join the university or choose that particular university. Why am I making this video is because from now from few days from now for all those people who are watching this video you will have multiple options in your hand. One this university, this college, the other this university, this college and then you'll be completely confused of what you should go for. So at least these five things might help you. Obviously they are not completely solely enough. I would also heavily suggest you to please see me for my personal guidance and doubt clearing session along with your parents if you feel the need to do so where we could have a mutual discussion of what's the right thing for you those kind of decisions turn out to be really very good because when we are openly having a communication about telling you what's the good part about a particular university what's the bad what are your expectations what is it that you will get in a particular university or a college it will be really very good the number one factor that you should consider is brand name now guys this is inclusive of each and everything brand name is made up of thousands of things obviously one is ranking do not just close eyes go on ranking itself because some of the rankings are paid some of the rankings uh, look into criterias which are not valid for you so but yes they are one part of it at the same time infrastructure is another part at the same time alumni of the college is another part 
at the same time knowing how many people know about the university is another part all of this in together form the brand name if you know people from a particular university who's graduated who's done really well we tend to believe that the brand name is good the reason why people die to get into iit delhi iit bombay or iim ahmedabad bangalore calcutta is because we've seen the kind of people that have passed out from that college we've seen the kind of people who are doing really well once they've graduated from that college that is the reason we tend to believe more in that brand name that wow we know this guy who's the founder of this particular course he did it from iit delhi that's why iit delhi is really very good oh we know the cm of this country studied from this college which means this college is really good so that is all these different combinations make up a brand name of a college how is the campus are they providing you good facilities are the classrooms are good do they have good labs all those things form a part of a brand name which is very important I'm really sorry my throat is kind of already gone but I want to finish this video because I know this is a very important video. Another very important thing in brand name itself is that people close eyes only check out the brand name of a college but they don't check out the brand name of the particular course in that college. Now guys, college is like a huge umbrella, university is like a huge umbrella that offers different departments under those different departments they offer different courses. some universities might have a huge brand name but maybe the one particular course that you want to go for is completely shit there or nobody goes for that course so that's a fairly new course we don't know how the review or value of it is so whenever you are checking about the brand name check from both angles the quality of the course as well as the brand name of the university just don't go that oh the university is very famous but course i don't know no doesn't help guys uh, at the same time i don't want that oh course is very very famous but nobody knows about the university then again no use So check out for the brand name from both these angles. The second very important thing, which again people in India don't check at all, is the faculty profiles. According to the UGC guidelines mentioned by the UGC, each university needs to list their faculty profiles on their website. I want you to go and check out about the faculty. Check out what kind of background they come from, what kind of work experience they have, what kind of PhD or doctorate have they done, and which particular fields have they done research. you will get a lot more clarity of the people who are teaching you or whether you want to study by them or not the third and the most important thing that you should check out is the return on investment guys in today's time education is turning out to be very very expensive it's not an easy cheap affair so many of you people will be touching your parents hard earned saved money that they've worked so many years that they want to send their daughter or son to a different good college to do good education and the money is very important roi is important because it's just not about the fees of a particular college but your living expenditure your food expenditure your travel expenditure plus the kind of life that you will be living there you might want to travel you might want to shop you might want to party so there is money that is involved and money doesn't grow on trees it's really very hard in the real world to make money your parents have worked there literally their ass off to get and save this money for you that is why it's your due responsibility and duty to at least check up whether the roi that you're getting from a particular university is it good what are the kind of packages that you're getting what kind of jobs will you be able to get even if you're looking for entrepreneurship have a certain deadline for yourself that okay if i work on this this is the kind of money that i should be making so that i am able to afford the kind of lifestyle that i live and treat my parents uh, for the kind of life that they've given to you it's really very important the fourth aspect that i have is check out about the exposure guys college education is just going to play a very important role 70 to 80% of your learning is peer to peer learning which means the kind of crowd that the university has what kind of diversity they have their program and the curriculum how is it designed is it only theoretical or is it a lot more practical do they have guest lectures are they focusing on industrial visits some practical learning lab works if there are things like that in your particular course program they're giving you live projects the quality of the crowd is good it's very diverse you will be able to learn a lot but if you're going for a very basic local college that does not have a great exposure the curriculum sucks it's only theoretical learning that they have it might not be a really good college for you fifth and the last point that i have is life around the campus and the city that you're going to guys it's very important to understand the kind of profile that you have and the kind of life that is there around the campus college will only happen for 3 4 5 8 hours a day nothing more than that what do you do beyond that majorly makes a lot of difference i personally would definitely suggest if you go to a metro town 
like a Mumbai or a Bangalore because that's where learning opportunities become tenfold. There are so many events that happen in these big metro cities. There are so many companies that are the headquarters in these companies that you can get a lot of exposure just by talking to these people, reaching out to these people, at the same time trying to get an internship here. For all such things about the life around the campus, what do the students do after the college hours? Are they doing online courses? Are they doing part-time jobs? Are they interning? Uh, are they working on projects? Are they playing sports, doing extracurriculars? All of that really is important. For that, I would really suggest you to reach out to the current students of a particular college, university. Check out their life. Check out their experience and then take a call. Obviously, don't go blind eyes in their experience also. Because suppose if you know I am a current student and I am not liking my university right now or I had a fight with my teacher right now, I'll say that, hey, this university sucks. Don't join here. It's bad. But then obviously, if somebody is giving you very valid, discreet opinion about what the current scenario is, you will be able to learn a lot. Specifically about the life. There are some universities that are put up in very isolated locations, which you might not like. Whereas some others might really like it also because they want to be in an isolated location where they can only focus on education. Whereas the, some of the others are the ones who want to be in a metro town where they have flexibility to, you know, attend parties, go for events, fest, all that, which you might not get in a very isolated place. So all these are the different permutations, combinations of all the factors that you need to look in before you join a college. Like I said, please make a very important decision and call here. I know so many people who will join the university and then later on will say that, hey, I'm not liking it. And I always tell them to please see me for my personal guidance and doubt training session. I will be putting on the link in the description below of the same. Guys, you'll be spending lakhs and lakhs of money for the college that you're going in. There is no harm in spending little less than a thousand to see me and have a good discussion about the reality, reality of placements, jobs, current students, experience, all of that and then take a call accordingly. So yes guys, that's about it for this particular video. Thank you so much for watching this particular video till the very end. And thank you so much for bearing with my bad voice. But I really wanted to make this informative video and I hope it is completely worth it. If you like this, please make sure that you hit a like button. Follow me on Instagram and on LinkedIn. I'm very readily available there. At the same time, please help my channel grow. So please subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon and share my channel with your friends and family members. I'll see you super soon with another video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.